guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Sky Marie Wheatley. Sky Marie Wheatley. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you guys slash a pregnancy update because I'm guessing most of the questions will be about him and this situation. So there's a situation. It's a whole lot of situation. <laughs> I love that. I'm so sorry for all the pregnancy spam over the last nine months. It had to be done. I know what you guys mean though when someone doesn't shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> it becomes annoying. That was probably me and I do apologize but it's so close to be in the end soon and it's scary and exciting and new <laughs> so it'll be over soon and you guys will have to cop the baby spam then that's that's how it's gonna go down <laughs> that's how it's gonna go down so i asked you guys to ask me some questions on a photo that I posted on my gram, thank you so much to everyone who cares enough to ask me questions. I love you guys. Yeah, I'm really excited to just jump in and answer some of your questions. I love doing Q&As. I feel like they're my favorite thing to watch. I don't know. I feel like you guys can get to know me more. So that's awesome. I just snapped. Well, actually, I clipped all my nails because one snapped. And it looked totally ridiculous, so I had to cut them all, and I'm really upset about it. It's just a sad time, because my nails were so shit at the start of the pregnancy, and they've only just started coming good again. And now, they're fucked. And they look like chode fingers. But moving on from that. Okay, so, first question. Was your pregnancy planned? Are you ready for a baby? Is the nursery done? The nursery is done. Tick that off my list. The only thing I need now is a car seat. Other than that, I am totally ready. I actually have, like, heaps of double ups of stuff. So I have more than enough for Bub. It was just really hard shopping for him because you don't know how, like, small or big they're going to be. And you just... You're like shopping for this little human that you've never met before. So I didn't want to go too overboard with clothes and stuff like that in case I didn't know what size he would be. And I got told that my baby is like bigger than average. So I didn't want to get too many like zero, zero, zeros. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. Sorry. Am I ready for a baby? Honestly, I don't know what to expect. I really don't. I'm like shitting myself, but I'm so excited at the same time. <sighs> But no, I don't really think that I'm ready, but who is ever ready? I feel like you're ready once the baby's here and you just like jump into things and get the swing of everything and that's when you're ready, when you're actually in the moment looking after a mini human. Also, pregnancy wasn't really planned. We didn't expect it to happen so quickly. Yeah, we kind of just said to each other, look, We'll just like not try, but not prevent it from happening. That's to answer that question. Another question is from Raya. I, I just had my first little bub, Zayla. That's really pretty. I love that name. Who will you have in the birthing room? To be honest, I don't really care who's there as long as it's family. I'll have Lockie, my mum, Lockie's mum, and like whoever else wants to be there, I guess. I don't really know <laughs> how I'm going to be feeling or what it's even like to go through labour. I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to be sitting there being like, I fucking hate you, get the fuck out of my way, don't talk to me, don't breathe on me. Or I could be like, oh my god guys, like I need all the support and the love I can get. Me being such... <laughs> me being such a clingy person and like an overly affectionate person just like I just love <clears throat> being around people in general I'll probably want definitely want people around me in the birthing room so yeah I'm like totally easy but I'd say Lockie my mum and his mum will be in the birthing room not really keen for anyone to 
go down there and have a look or like see what's happening down there. But like I said, I could be just in a mind frame where I just don't even give a fuck. <laughs> So we'll have to see. This question's from Sailor Kills. Has it been hard to keep a steady diet with all the pregnancy cravings? To be honest, everyone always blabs on about pregnancy cravings and how they're so intense, blah, blah, blah. But to be honest, I don't really see it any differently to a normal craving that you have. Like when you're eating healthy and you just really want some chocolate or you know, you have a craving for ice cream on a Friday night or, you know, just like normal cravings. I literally just think it's the same as a normal craving. I was expecting my cravings to be way more intense than what they were, but I haven't really craved anything specific other than what I normally would crave, which is shit food. I've just been like really lenient about what I'm eating throughout my pregnancy. I've kind of just like really gone off the train tracks and I've crashed into every building that I've gone past, but I don't care because I'm pregnant and like I have an excuse and I just, yeah, I haven't deprived myself of anything. And if I, if I want to eat healthy, then I'll eat healthy. If I don't feel like eating healthy, then I just, I haven't been hard on myself and I haven't eaten very healthy throughout my pregnancy I'm not gonna lie but yeah I just don't really I feel like if I wanted to eat healthy it would be reasonably easy because I don't really think the cravings are all that intense I don't really think that they're what people make them out to be you know what I mean but then again I haven't really said no so maybe if I said no to the bad foods that I felt like I would have more intense cravings, if that makes sense. Okay, this question's from Stacey. Literally every single person has been asking me this question, so I feel like I need to let you guys know um, what happened to your license, why can't you drive? So, I lost my license six months ago. I literally get my license back in two weeks. Hello fucking y'all. I'm literally... So excited. I'm just gonna get in my car and I'm gonna drive. I'm just gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck shit up. I'm gonna fuck the roads up. But I'm gonna obey all the rules because I do not want to lose my license again. Anyway, I lost my license speeding. So what, what happened was I was on my way to F45. Fuck my life. This is what you get when you want a good bod. You get fucking done speeding and you lose your license for six months. No. I was already on a good behavior thing, so I had one point because you have the, you have a choice. I got the last time I got done, it was for speeding, and I had the choice to either lose my license for three months or go on good behavior for twelve months. So basically, the good behavior is you drive around on one point, and if you lose it, then it doubles the time than what you would have lost it before. So my three months doubled to six. I was on my way to F45, and I thought school zone was over. So I was doing 60k in a school zone, which is 40k, but I was really doing the right speed, just not at the right time, because it was school school time. But it was literally like 8.50 and the school zone ends at 9am, so it was fucked. It was stupid. It's so easy to speed though, like... Obviously, I'm literally not going to speed at all when I get my license back. I'm not even going to, like, break any of the road rule. Well, that's really the only road rule that I continuously broke. I'm just, I'm just going to be very cautious when I'm back on the roads because, obviously, one, I'll be a mum, I'll have a baby in the car. Two, I don't want to lose my license again because it is so fucking depressing like I've literally been I feel like I've been trapped in this house for six months you just lose your whole independence and it's literally the worst thing in the world so yeah that's what happened to my license I got caught speeding okay so that's why I can't drive Ellie underscore Coombs what do you think will be your biggest challenge as a mummy 
For me, the only thing that I'm like worried about is juggling baby and work because I really, I'm like in such a good groove at the moment with my work and I'm always keeping on top of it and like I just, in saying that though, there's days where I wake up and I'm like so unmotivated, like I just felt so unmotivated to film this video even, so for me, I think the biggest challenge will be like juggling baby and work and I just know that I'm really not going to feel like filming when I've got bub here because obviously I'm going to be so in love and so infatuated and I'm not going to want to like take the time out to do the things that I have to do but I just, I'll just have to make it work because honestly work is such an important thing to me. I want to be able to like give Bob a good future and make money and pay off the house and like buy him nice things and I just want to be like super comfortable so work is like my number one priority after Bob so that's what I'm most worried about and like just the sleep deprivation that people have talked about but honestly I think I'll be fine I think I'll be okay I just need to like get used to it and my, be my best friend just had her baby and she seems totally fine. So, but then again, she's not working. So I'm going to be, I'm still going to be working. I want to try and work as much as possible. I'm not going on any of the Centrelink benefits. Fuck that. I'm not dealing with Centrelink. I don't want to have time off from work. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully it works out as long as I get into a routine with Bob and Lockie helps me then I think I'll be fine but yeah that's the that's what I think will be the biggest challenge for me Ton Jerenkenskank sorry I can't read your names but thank you so much for the questions how has the pregnancy been so far love from Norway ah oh, amazing Thank you for your question. The pregnancy has been really, really good. Like I feel super blessed to have had such an easy pregnancy. The only thing I've really struggled with is my indigestion. And that only started happening when I was like in my second or third trimester. It just became worse and worse. And now every time I eat, it's honestly the worst thing ever but I've just been like stocking up on quickies and like got Gaviscon the liquid Gaviscon which is literally so foul it's so disgusting but it works and also those like Rennie tablets but I had seriously never experienced indigestion before so yeah I just struggled with indigestion nothing else I'm pretty much loving pregnancy there has been the odd occasion where I'm like oh, I want my body back and I've looked at old photos and just really felt like oh I want my body back is it like it's going to be so hard to get back there but other than that I've really enjoyed pregnancy I really enjoy feeling Bob's movements like there's just nothing better it's just such a beautiful experience and I know that once my bump is gone I will definitely miss it just have to be grateful and embrace the body changes as much as sometimes it's hard when you're like looking for outfits and stuff like that but no pregnancy has been great would we'll definitely do it again for baby number two or three Chania Phillips in your Instagram story you said 36 weeks three weeks to go but pregnancy goes until 40 weeks are you being induced early at 39 weeks or was it just a simple mistake so I got given two due dates, one being the 18th of December. Actually, no, I got given three due dates. So one being 18th of December, 20th of December, and the 12th of December. So I was just like, yep, I'm just going to go with like the earliest date because I don't want his birthday to be anywhere near Christmas because that would suck for him and I want... I want his birthday to be super special and I don't want him to have to share it with Christmas because poor thing, right? Even though Christmas is like my favourite time of year. Hi Winnie, hello darling. Hi, he's so cute. Do you something to say hi to mommy? So, I just, <laughs> I just changed my date and everyone's been asking about it but I just really believe in 
manifestation and I'm like really big on manifestation but I actually don't mind if he comes later. I'm either happy to go before Christmas or after Christmas. Like I'm really not fussed. I love lap. How did you manage to stay so fit during your pregnancy? To be honest, if I'm being honest with you guys, I literally was so fucking lazy. Like I would occasionally go for the odd walk. I've eaten whatever the fuck I want for whatever I want, I eat. Like I've not been strict at all with my diet. I've just tried to like maintain walking as much as possible, but most days, some days I don't get out, I don't walk. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I was such a fit bitch. Um, I would, you know, occasionally do an at-home workout, but yeah, there's not really much that I've done. I think if I did try to stay fit, I would I wouldn't have put I wouldn't have put as much weight on as I have. I'm not mad about the weight that I put on. I think I put on like 11 or 12 kilos. I would have liked to have stayed healthier throughout my pregnancy, but I just used the whole license thing as an excuse and I just I've just been really lazy this pregnancy, like to, if I'm being honest. So I just honestly think that it's my body. Um, but yeah, I've definitely put weight on like really evenly. Like I put it on everywhere, my arms, my back, my, my boobs, my belly, my legs, my legs. I've put on a lot of weight on my legs. And I'm like praying that I can get straight back into fitness after labor. They say you can't, but I'm going to try. Because <laughs> I want this shit to drop off me because it's so uncomfortable. Like my metabolism has always been quite fast. And I've been quite lucky. Like I, I do binge eat. I'm not going to lie. I am not the healthiest eater. So maybe my body's just used to that. I don't know. Just try to do like a little bit of exercise each day. Like as long as you're doing some form of exercise, I think you'll be right. So yeah, I haven't really stayed fit throughout my pregnancy. It might look like I have. Yeah, no, your girl has not been the best. Ashley Bradwell. I did ask Lockie to be in this video, but he was like, fuck that. Because he just finished work, so I was like, okay. But, um, what was your biggest... He can be in my next Q&A. What was your biggest fear at the start of your pregnancy? Was just like, oh shit, I'm not ready. I just wanted, like... I seriously just wanted one more month to just kind of like, because I just went away to, to Bali on holiday with Lockie and as soon as we got back I found out I was pregnant so I just would have least liked another month just to like settle back in, get into routine and like just do me. But I mean nine months is such a long time to wait and you can do all of those things in that nine months leading up to when Bob gets here. Like, it's honestly so long. I feel like this pregnancy has gone... It's just... It's taken forever. It's dragged out. I just wish I had my license. Like, I really... Like, it's just the worst time <laughs> to lose your license when you're pregnant because that's when you need your freedom and your independence and, like, your you time the most because you're just about to, like you know, dedicate your life to looking after this little tiny human. So I would have liked to have done more things for myself. I mean, the license thing's probably just an excuse, but fucking Ubers, man, it's so expensive. Like, for me to go get my hair done in Marina Mirage costs $100. It's fucked up. I just, I didn't really, I was just, yeah, I just had a fear like, oh, I'm not ready. But... When are you ever ready? Like, I've always wanted a baby. Always. Ever since I can remember. Like, even when I was, like, super young, I wanted to be a mum. So, I don't know. I think fear is... Fear is something you make up in your head. Fear isn't real. That's my belief, anyway. What is my biggest fear now? I don't know. I don't really... I think I'm... Like I said, I, I don't believe in fear. 
I'm just like a little bit scared of having to maybe have a c-section if my baby's too big to like come out down there because I'm like a really little person I just don't even know how that's gonna work like a fucking head coming out of my vagina I just don't see how it's gonna work like I even get sore after having sex no joke, like I literally, <laughs> I literally get sore and my boyfriend's dick is not that big, it's probably average. But I just get so sore because I'm just so little, maybe. I don't know, I don't want to share too much, but I just don't see how it's going to work. So my biggest fear is like having to have a C-section, I really don't want to have a C-section, like I would love to have a natural labour. But in saying that, I'm, I don't have a plan and like I'm happy just to get the baby the baby out safely and that's all that really matters. What has been your favorite thing about being pregnant? Probably the fact that you don't really have to worry well, I haven't really been strict on what I've been eating. I'm kind of just like I feel like I've been more carefree and like not so uptight about what food choices I'm making, if that makes sense. And obviously feeling baby move inside you is the best, most amazing slash incredible life-changing experience ever. Like you got a little fucking human in your belly. It's so cute. <laughs> It's cute and it's like, it feels like a little fish, kind of, like, you're a little fishy moving around, it's really cute. Shannon Bolton, how long have you and Lockie been together? We have been together officially one year and probably like one to two months. But yeah, we're still pretty fresh but we're going really strong and I feel like we're, yeah, we're just like better than ever and... We did, I feel like I just knew that he was the one and it's fun and exciting because we're just like a team. We just like work together and yeah, it's really good. We haven't been together long but I'm, I just know that we're going to be together for a very long time slash forever. Georgia Cav, what's the most expensive thing you have bought for Bub? It would probably be the car seat. To be honest, I haven't bought him any like designer things or like anything ridiculous. I just, I really don't believe in buying babies designer stuff because they're just going to grow out of it and you know, it's silly. And I even got, I even got my girlfriend to bring over like a whole heap of her son's hand-me-downs because I just, I'm like really big on saving my money. And I'm really smart when it comes to my money. So I didn't want to go out and like spend a whole heap of money on stuff that I know is not going to get used, if that makes sense. So yeah, probably the car seat will be the most expensive thing. So yeah. Saving the money. Oh my god, guys. I can't read your, I can't read your usernames. I'm so sorry. Am I breastfeeding? I'm going to try to breastfeed. Not really sure how I feel about breastfeeding. Um, to be honest, it like kind of creeps me out. Hoping my mindset will change when Bub comes along, and I, I do see it as like that bonding experience, and obviously I want to do it to, for him, for his like health, and it's good for, it's, it's good for my health, it's good for his health. So obviously, I'm going to try breastfeeding, but. You know, you hear different shit and you just don't, you seriously don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. So, yeah, I'll try breastfeeding, see how I go. Yeah, that's all I've got to say about that question. Are you going to be private for the first couple of weeks after birth so you can settle in and just do the same? Am I going to be private? I'm not a very private person. I'm just not. I'm really open and I love sharing my life with you guys. And I'll probably probably be so excited and just be so in love with him that I'd, I'll want to share that with you guys. In terms of like having people come over, I'll probably want just like family visitors and I'll just want to like settle in, you know, me, Lockie and Bub. I just really want to get into like routine and just like settle back in and 
just see how things go. Yeah. But no, I'm not going to be private. I'm not a very private person. <sighs> Alice Star 101, are you scared of giving birth? The closer the time comes, the more you think of it. And there have been times where I'm like, oh, shit, like I'm going to have to go into labor. And it's a scary thought, but also like really liberating and empowering. And it's really exciting because you get to meet your baby. So I've just tried like not to think about the pain aspect and kind of just, yeah, not really thought about it. <laughs> I'll just take it as it comes, see how I go, if I need an epidural, if I need like pain relief, then I'm not going to be, I'm not going to say no, oh, I'm not going to say no to that, so yeah, I'm just trying not to think about it in a negative way, you can't stop it from happening now, <laughs> it's going to happen. Talia Shaw, once you have the baby, will you stop, will you still be vlogging most slash some days? Of course, like I said, I really want to keep up to date with work and I still want to be working and like sharing my life with you guys and keeping up with content so of course I will still be vlogging I'll even try to vlog on like the days that I don't feel good because obviously having a baby is not glamorous it's not glamorous and it's like <laughs> I just want to be as real as possible with you guys. I'll even try to vlog on days that I'm not feeling so good or I'm like, <laughs> I'm like dying of sleep deprivation if that even happens. Fingers crossed I get a really sleepy, tired baby. Definitely be documenting and sharing my life with you guys just as I am now. Kylie75, this is like a really frequently asked question. Will you be vlogging your labor and birth? And will you do be doing the baby mama dance. Yes, we're going to be doing the baby mama dance. I just haven't got around to it. So I'll make sure I'll make sure we do that this weekend. Don't worry, you won't miss out. Um, I do want to try vlog the labor. I'm not sure if I'll post it, but I definitely want to vlog my experience for you guys. Because for me, being pregnant, I've really enjoyed watching those types of vlogs. It's just nice to be able to see other people's experiences so you can... Well, most of the time when I've watched um, birthing vlogs, most of the women get an epidural anyway and they look so relaxed and calm. Like Khloe Kardashian's birth, I watched her birth, her birth slash labor the other day and she looked so chill. So yeah, I'll definitely vlog what I can for you guys. Okay, this question is from Bianca Ellie. Did you stop doing your fillers and Botox during pregnancy? Yes, I did. And I'm dying. I want Botox. I'm fine with my lips. Like, I think my lips are fine. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't risk getting Botox or fillers or just doing anything that they say not to do during pregnancy. Like, I've stayed away from alcohol. I've not touched that at all. Even though, like, so many people told me it's okay to have just one, I was like, no. Like, oh, the only thing I have been doing is drinking coffee, but I only have one shot. When normally I get, like, triple shot. To Neil Bryan's, when Bub's hair... Grows, will you be cutting it or let it grow like Lachlan's hair? Hope you hope you read this question. Love you, girl. Love you. Um, I think the man the like boy bun would be so boy bun, boy bun would be so cute. I don't know, it depends what his hair's like. Like if it's super crazy and it needs to be cut. I don't know. If it's annoying for him to have long hair, then obviously I want him to be comfortable but I think a boy bum would be super cute and then he could be matching with Lockie it would be cute to have them matching super cute anyway I'm going I'm thinking of filming this Q&A in like maybe two or three parts so this will be part one I'm going to leave it there I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Big thumbs up if you want to see part two and three. There's literally 500 questions on that photo. So I do want to be answering some more for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. I love the support. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.
Nous.